filth it all over us like a rash. But if we don't, fuck all. Somebody's feeding them information. What's that about? Biggest score in six fucking months. And we couldn't shift a vitamin C tablet if there was a plague of rickets. Do you reckon it's them jocks that have been selling them round pubs? I know. It's those tight fisted, skirt wearing, brave heart watching Scottish fuckers. Anonymous phone tips to Inspector Plot. Hm. They've no morals up there, you know. That's why we kicked them out of Ireland in the sixth century. Not like they got a sell by date, though, is it? Pills. All of our petty cash is tied up in those pills, you skid mark. We are stony fucking broke! And your mother's in there, cooking like it's going out of fashion. Useless, fucking, grassing, haggis eating, Scottish. It'd be a plague of rickets, though, would it? It'd be a plague of crickets. Like a bolt Jimmy at a Pinocchio. One with a top hat. Pigs have just nicked down, Andy. She's got Katie with her. What for? I haven't got a clue. Two minutes ago, down the road. Ma'am, the cops have nicked our man. Nicky! No! Baby, how is he? Oh. Uh, not even third degree burns. I've had worse off Swan Vestas. Got to keep this cream on, stop it blistering. Because he's worth it. Shut it, you! Have some consideration, Shane. Want me that threw a pan of pasta sauce over his bean, eh? And what's that supposed to mean? You calling me a bad mother? Mimi. Mimi? What? He was having a go, weren't ya? Wasn't he? How could I do that to my own baby? You lost your temper. Everybody does sometimes. It's like the deed's done before my brain's had time to process the thoughts. Bothers me. Then let's do something about it. Nobody's allowed to bother my angel. Not even you. Done. I was so angry, I went out to the garage and snapped off the cane. Every board. time I have a drink, I run out of excuses. Slagged to her face, a P45 around full volume, day and night. I threw a steady out the bedroom window. Mimi. Do you have anything to share? Well, there was the time I hit my husband with me shoe. A good six inch heel. He'd come in seven sheets to the wind every night that week. And the kids were only small. I kept them on deliberate. Stilettos like. So I took a knife and carved my initials into his back, ten inches high, while he was still tied up. Next time one of my lads hit a ball into his garden, he handed it back double quick, that's for sure. You try taking a deep breath before you act. Brian, I've tried everything. I've tried counting to ten. I've tried saying a prayer to St. Clair of Assisi. I never get past three. And I always end up going to confession after. There are other strategies. Problem solving. Better communication. Cognitive restructuring. I'm not a hippie. I'm, I'm talking about empathising with people. Putting yourself in their shoes. I'll give you some materials that might be of help. What's for tea, Mum? Homemade stew. There's no air. That's because you haven't made it yet. In. 
Nobody died. It would be irrational to get overly upset about a ruined dinner. This is cognitive restructuring. We could attempt to problem solve the reasons why you two felt it necessary to batter the living shite out of one another. What I think's required here is some positive reinforcement. So? Shane, tell your brother that you love him. Fuck off. Tell your brother you love him. <laughs>